So Jim Carter is back and he's brought this printer. What is this? This is the Flying Bear P905X uh, dual extruder with touch screen. Touch screen. Um, they offered to uh, us to do a review. Um, he was kind enough to bring this over and we tried a first print and we had some problems. And then he brought something else over. So why don't we just... Talk about this instead. Filament Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. They also get special access to ChepClub.com. So join us at ChepClub.com. So we got a first print going, and you can tell by how clear you can hear me. This thing is quiet. This thing is really, really quiet. So Jim, some of the features of this, we've got what, Wi-Fi connection? Yeah, it uses a Douay board, a 32-bit controller uh, with Wi-Fi. There's no screens, no extra panels, nothing to get in the way. Very clean design using that. You can use your laptop, your phone, any Wi-Fi internet connected device you can control the machine from. And this is all metal construction, so it's very, very solid and it's very heavy. What would you say, how much? About 47 pounds. 47 pounds, so this is, it's not something you're going to just haul around easily, but it's going to stay in place and probably affects build quality, I would think, being this strong. Yep. Yeah, see the nice thing is you've got uh, metal construction all the way around. The entire frame inside is metal. Um, there's no twisting, no torquing, like with the old melamine and, and plastic cheapskates and things like that. And this thing, jeez, uh, I cannot believe how quiet it is. This thing is huge. How tall? Do you know how tall you can print on this? Uh, yeah, the build volume on this is just about 540 millimeters. And what's the... So what they've done is they've, they've kept the same 300 millimeter glass build surface, um, but they actually took the rails and moved them out. So all the axes are farther out. So now the head can actually go full, right to the directions. edge of the right to the edge of the glass, right to the clips. Three hundred so millimeters. Three hundred by three hundred diameter. You got it. Amazing. And we've already printed a chest pawn. I'll show you the time lapse of this. And I don't think I got a time lapse. I got a picture of it. The quality is really phenomenal. And we're printing with Protopasta's new Chep Candy Apple Red. I love it. And this is just a first print. Now, what do you got going here? You got a. So, this is a. Uh, you might know Decapa Cat, I think is what oh, the, the CR10 CR10 can The CR10 calls it? cat. Yeah. The de yeah, Decapa Cat. Yeah, I've managed to, to farm the file someplace and uh, threw it in here as a fast print uh, just to pump it out to see what it looked like and in the worst quality possible. You're monitoring everything right here. I am, yeah. We actually um, have the ability to watch the heat uh, both at the, the bed and the hot end. To make sure everything is moving smoothly. And I'll doing it through the wireless Wi-Fi out here in my garage, which is not the best Wi-Fi, but well, this is really good. Um, so a few other features. This thing has got what linear rails? Linear here? rails, absolutely. Linear rails at all the corners. It's got a 32-bit board inside. Uh, Due. Yeah. And no LCD, which I complained about to see me CNC early on, but. So far, Jim showed me that working I wasn't from a fan without the, the LCD, but seeing how easy it is with my own LCD. Yeah, I, I put it up on my phone, and I was able to control this. So I guess here's your LCD, but it is an option, though, right? You right. can get an option for it. Right. Um, this machine, as you have it right here, what's the price of this one as equipped? So this is what we would call an ARTP, almost ready to print kit. Um, okay. I'm sure we can find some pictures, but in the box, you're going to get the top and the bottom pieces fully assembled. Um, everything almost all the way wired. All the end user has to do is connect some of the points for the hot end, uh, put the rails on, plug in some wires, and that's it. It literally would be an hour to maybe two hours if you've never done this before, and you're done. So it's about a two-hour kit to assemble is what you're saying? Yep, runs about $2,000. And $2,000 for this monster of a machine. It really is huge. I'm, I'm blown away how big this is. Um, Man, I'd have to find a place for this, but he's going to take it, so it doesn't matter. Uh, geez. So what else, what other features? I mean, the, the Wi-Fi is working good. It was real easy. He set it up here on my Wi-Fi. It took like five minutes to set it up. He plugged in a cable, entered a few G codes, and my Wi-Fi password, and we we're connected. So the, it's just so 
quiet. It's, it's I love this professional quality for the home hobbyist. This really, this is more of a professional's Without 3D a printer. Doubt. I mean, it's priced accordingly, but you definitely get what you pay for with this. this there's there's nice. other kits out there for a, a third of the price, but what are you sacrificing? Some might say print quality, some might say build volume. My biggest thing is speed because of how a Delta works and pairing a Delta with a 32-bit board, you get much more accuracy out of higher print speeds. And it's got the FSR sensors. Right, yeah, so uh, what CME CNC has done is they've gotten rid of the accelerometer and the effector and they've put FSRs or force sensitive relays underneath the resistors. Bed. Resistors, yeah. Force sensitive resistors. So on, so on the that. impact, it's measuring the resistance and that's how it can tell where the nozzle is. And then you ran a calibration mm -hmm. before we started. Yep. It was how many points of calibration? Uh, 10 point know? calibration and it, it creates a virtual mesh. Okay. So it's just, you know, auto level at its finest. I'm just really impressed with this machine. I, I'm not a big Delta. I don't have a Delta. I haven't used a lot of Deltas. But this one has really got me intrigued. This was just a, like a first introduction. We're not doing a full review. Um, he had brought it along, and I was more interested in this than the Flying Bear. So stay tuned. There will be more on this in the future. So Jim took the Artemis to his car, and I brought this back over. I'm not sure what we're going to do with this, but... You know, he's been gone a while. Where did he go? He left. He took his Artemis and went home. He's got one of those electric cars, so he just snuck right off. I didn't even hear him leave. Anyway, oh, and he left me with that. Oh, he owes me a beer. Well, that's it for this week. If you like what I'm doing here, check out some of these videos that are popping up. If you want to help support the channel, a dollar a month to Patreon via Chep Club. And if nothing else, click on that Chep logo and subscribe. I'll see you next week on Filament Friday. Oh, God. Oh, it's not something you just... It's not something you're not going...